and attached now. Uh, let's move on to another piece of breaking news that's coming in. This is amid the ongoing executive versus judiciary battle. Law Minister Kiran Rijiju has said that there is no public scrutiny of judges. Once they become judges, they do not have to face elections. Let's uh, play out that soundbite and then I'll go across to my colleague Ananya. तो इसलिए मैंने कहा कि जितने जो जजेस होते हैं आप जनता आपको नहीं चुनते हैं इसलिए जनता आपको बदल नहीं सकते हैं लेकिन आपको जनता देख रहा है All right I want to go across to Ananya so uh, strong words that from the law minister saying judges uh, don't have to face scrutiny of the public uh, once you're uh, elevated as a judge, then you can't be removed. At least the process of removing a judge is extremely cumbersome here in India. Uh, basically, throwing the gauntlet back at the judiciary and saying uh, that not everything is kosher, that if uh, judgments are being scrutinized in the public domain or judges' behavior and actions are being scrutinized in the public domain, uh, that sh should be considered the new normal because politicians are always scrutinized uh, in the public domain. They have to face the people once every five years. Well, definitely, Zaka, you know, this debate is escalating day by day. We are seeing how both the sides, whether it's the executive or the judiciary, they are uh, attacking each other with uh, with the war of words, escalating every day. Uh, now, today also, uh, the law minister has come out and in fact said that, um, that the judges are, uh, are not ones who are scrutinized. Uh, they're not like the politicians who have to face elections every month public is watching the judges, their judgments, and the way they deliver justice and make their assessment is something that is uh, in the eyes of the public, and especially in the times of social media, everything is being analyzed. In fact, uh, you know, uh, this is escalating the whole debate that is going around uh, the center and the, uh, the, uh, the judiciary over the judicial appointments. And all of these attacks actually began on November 7 when this whole debate was escalated by, uh, in fact, initiated by the law minister who was speaking at Samvedna Samvad in Gujarat and said that the collegium system is opaque in nature. Then we saw um, the Supreme Court actually taking up All this right. matter uh, with regards to the judicial appointments. And now uh, back and forth is going on between both the center and the, uh, the judicial system. So where the end would be is a question and a matter of time and we'll get to know. Okay, and I will leave it that. We'll see how the story plays out. But clearly things are being uh, said in public, uh, in front of the cameras, on newsprint. And I think that is not helping uh, temper down uh, what are frayed nerves certainly between top members of the judiciary and of course members of government. That's a wrap. Uh, Griha joining you in a moment with the biggest exclusive.